praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Shalom to you. God bless you. Welcome today in the name of Jesus. My name is Samuel E. Molombe. If this is the first time I'm appearing on your screens, I'm the man that God uses. Welcome today in Jesus' name. If you're family, you're always coming back to check on our new prophetic words on this platform. Thank you. Thank you so much for always returning. God bless you. If you're new, please kindly consider subscribing on the channel, ring the notification bell so that you will be connected. God bless you. I have a good word that the Lord is dropping in my spirit. And I believe that this word is going to bless you. They have no idea what you have been through, where you are coming from. So they judge you with zero knowledge about your past. I said, I take that again, they have no idea where what you've been through. They have no idea where you are coming from. And they, they judge you based off on what is in their head about you. And it's wrong. It's wrong. Now, I want you to listen to the end of this prophetic word because I, I see something at the end of this video. And that is, uh, uh, that is like the secret, is the key to respond to people who act like they know you a lot and whereas they don't. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So I was going through the scriptures and I, I stumbled on the story of David. Of course, I've read that over and over again. It just lit it up in my spirit when I read it again this time. Um, the Bible says that, of course, David was just the, a young guy, was watching after his father's, you know, animals. And the, the prophet Samuel was sent by God to the house of Jesse, which is, which is David's father to anoint a new king. At this time, Saul um, had disobeyed God and the spirit of the Lord had departed from Saul and an evil spirit had possessed Saul. So God says to Samuel, don't mourn for Saul anymore. Get up, go to the house of Jesse. I have my, for myself a new king there that I found. Samuel went to the house of Jesse. Of course, it was a big announcement. The prophet is coming to your home. He's a major prophet. He's a king maker. Everybody knows him. Everybody wants him to visit them. Jesse was privileged in his lifetime to see the visit of the major prophet Samuel. He, that's quite, quite a big celebration. And Samuel specifically says, I want to see all your sons. Jesse calls all the sons and forgets David. <laughs> That's that's weird. That's abnormally weird. That there is this kind of celebration in your family. Think about it for a second. The president of the nation says, I want to see all your sons. Even your neighbor's child, you're going to want to include them in the list, you know, to be able to just favor them. But he forgot David. Yeah. So the prophet comes and begins to pour the anointing, looking at their physique, their, how muscular they were, how tall and how kingly they look. And to cut the long story short, none of them, they all didn't flow for any of them. They fitted the criteria and the eyes, but God did not select them. So <laughs> Samuel says, are these all your sons? Jesse said, yeah. Basically, he forgot that he had David. After a little um, while, he said, oh, I have one more son. <laughs> he's there and, 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 and he's just, he's, I'm not sure he's the one. But, but. And Samuel says, we are not sitting down until he comes. So imagine David hearing this story. Oh yeah, he was anointed. Yeah, he was a chosen one. But think about it for a second. Imagine that this story was told to David, that you have forgotten. And I was surprised to notice that the Bible did not say that David said anything or David acted in any way. It means it, oh, he was used to that. He was used to it. It was a normal um, reaction that he, he was expecting. If something great is happening in my family, they won't remember me. This constituted his story. This constituted his background. This is where he was coming from. This is what he was dealing with. 
So imagine that somebody comes from such a background and begins to praise God in a certain way or begins to connect himself to God in a way because that's all he's got. And someone is sitting there judging him to say, what do you think you are? Why are you claiming like you're the only one that can worship God? You're the only one that can praise God. If you do not understand my story, you will not understand my praise. Basically, that's what David was saying. So let me give you another example why, um, what, of what I'm saying. So the Bible gives us an account of how David is praising God. David is excited, dancing until his belt cuts off his trousers on the ground. He's a king right now. And the Bible says the wife, as a daughter of one of the daughters of Saul, you know, disregards him and says, look at this guy making a fool of himself. And when he gets back home, the, the wife is saying, look at you, a whole king of Israel. You're making a fool of yourself. And David says, I'm dancing. Oh, I love that. He says, I'm dancing to the God that took the kingship from your father and gave it to me. <laughs> what a savage answer, right? So if you do not know his story, you will not understand his praise. The Lord is saying that he has brought you from a place. And some of the some of the ways you act and the way you worship and the way you respond to people and, 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 and your attitude is because of where you're coming from. A lot of people do not understand the battles you have had to go through in your life to be where you are. They don't understand that you've had to fight for every meal that you have. You've had to fight for every relationship. You've had to fight to keep yourself sane. You've had to fight to have your kids. You've had to fight to not be killed in an abusive relationship. You've had to fight literally for what people just walk to the table and pick it up. But you've had to fight to get it. And then now they're saying, oh, why are you talking like this? Why are you acting in such a way? Oh, why are you acting like you're the only one in the room? They are disrespecting you. They are disregarding you. They don't know that your life has not been as easy as everyone else. God is saying they don't understand you because they don't know your story. You see, don't bother trying to explain yourself to people who have already had an opinion of you. If they can decide in their hearts to form an opinion about you, <laughs> it's little or nothing you can do. Don't bother. Don't bother trying to tell them anything because they don't want to listen. They don't want to listen. The Lord is saying that, shut up. Shoulders up, walk. You're coming from a place. You have a story. God has been faithful to you. Don't sit there trying to say, oh, my life is not like everybody else. And don't cry about what has happened to you. Lift up your head and let your story, instead of being a cause of tears and pain to you, let it be a thing of joy that the Lord has taken you through what other people hearing about it, they can collapse, they can die. Just hearing about it. But you have gone through it and you're out. And you're victorious. Hallelujah. Put your head up. You're a royalty. You're king and queens. You're a covenant child. Now, I kept this. If you've watched this video to this point, you deserve this truth. You all know one an explanation. If God is pleased with you, doesn't matter who is not. Don't spend a minute trying to change people's opinion about you. If people build opinion about you without even listening to you, there's little or nothing you can do to change their mind. The Lord bless you. I hope that this prophetic word gives you some encouragement. And I hope that God was speaking to you. Don't just listen. Let me know in the comment section how this word resonates with you and how this word ministers to you. Let me know how I can come into your life, be with you, um, in, um, um, be connect with you in prayers and how I can intercede for you. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord cause his face to shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord give you peace in Jesus' name. Do you receive the word, the gladness? 
I love you. Inshallah.